The Sendea dashboard is the primary interface through which the user creates and manages connections between model elements in different software tools. The objective of this video is to familiarize the user with the main sections of the dashboard. Later videos and exercises will explore individual features in greater depth. For those using Sendea with Magic Draw or Cameo System Modeler, the easiest way to launch the dashboard is from the containment browser in the Magic Draw interface. Right-click an element and select Sendea Dashboard. If we launch the dashboard from the top-level data package, we will be able to make connections to any SysML element in the model. We can also launch from lower-level elements to simplify our view of the model and then navigate using the GoTo command. When the dashboard is first opened, you may be required to create or select a Sendea Cloud project. Video 1.5 has instructions for this window. The dashboard has a row of seven tabs across the top. We will go through them in sequence. The first tab is the Repository Manager. This is where the user creates and views linkages to outside tools, repositories, and folders on the local operating system and shared devices. On the left side, we have all the kinds of tools for which Syndia interfaces have been installed. If we select the top level, Repositories, the right side shows a summary table of all the existing linkages with some of the access info used to create that info. I am blurring out the specifics for my installation. If we select a specific existing linkage, we can see the external model elements we have access to through that linkage. In video 1.2, we look at creating and deleting repository connections. The second tab is the Connection Manager the primary location for making connections. In the left and right columns, we can open any of the repositories we have set up on the first tab. The small plus signs allow us to expand or contract the tree structure. We see the contents that our credentials give us access to. We can right-click on elements on either the left or right and see a list of context-dependent commands. The center column shows the possible types of connections that can be made between the left and right sides using drag and drop operations. The Connection Browsers tab shows existing connections arranged by model hierarchy, for the SysML model, or for some of the other repositories. It is a primary location for initiating compare and sync operations. Expanding the tree shows the individual connections identified by the small gold arrow with information on the type and target of the connection. If we right-click on an individual connection, we can trigger compare and sync operations across that connection. We can do the same operations at the individual artifact or package level and trigger the operation on all connections under that element. The Connection Search tab shows the same information, but in a different format when we click the Get All button. Each connection is shown as one row. There are nine connections in total for this Sendea project. Video 1.3 will show how we sort and filter the rows, and the table can be exported as an Excel file. As in the Connections browser, we can right-click any connection and trigger a variety of operations, including deleting one or more connections if they are no longer needed or valid. When we call for a comparison between two models across one or more connections, the results are shown in the Comparison Result tab, which opens automatically when the comparison operation is complete. The Mappings tab allows us to create user-configurable custom mappings for model transforms. Videos 1.6 through 1.8 demonstrate this feature, available to users with a special mappings license. Finally, the Settings tab contains a wide range of user-selected settings. Some are applicable to Sendea as a whole, others to specific tool interfaces. The Sendea Store settings enable access to Sendea Cloud unless the user chooses to save connection data to the local SysML model. In all cases, it is necessary to click the Apply button before the changes take effect. Some changes, however, only apply after Sendea and MagicDraw are closed and reopened. To complete the tour, the notification window at the bottom shows a running log of Sendea actions. You can clear this window by right-clicking inside and choosing Clear. 
but the same messages are also stored in a log file, syndea.md, located in your user directory .syndea folder. These can be useful in debugging problems or simply monitoring the progress of Syndea operations. Close the Syndea dashboard in the usual way, clicking the Close button at the top of the window.